Welcome to Jom Study Life YouTube channel. Hope you are doing very well in your study. Today's lesson is a reviewing past year exam question for winter 2021, part one of two. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number one. A gas is released at point P in the apparatus shown. Which gas turn the damp universal indicator evaporate most quickly? So the answer will be hydrogen chloride. A mixture of colorless compound is separated using chromatography. Which type of reagent is used to detect this compound after separation? A locating agent is used to analyze colorless substances in paper chromatography. It is generally a chemical that reacts with the colorless substances in order to form colorful products that are visible for inspection purpose. The answer will be a locating agent. Number 2 is D. Which statement about paper chromatography is correct? In paper chromatography, a starting line is drawn on the paper in pencil. Pencil so that it does not dissolve in solvent and affect the results. Small spots of each sample are placed on the starting line. The paper is left vertically in a solvent. The solvent is below the level of the sample spot. So the answer for this would be the baseline should be drawn in pencil. Element X has 7 proton. Element Y has 8 more proton than X. Which statement about element Y is correct? Proton has a positive charge. Meanwhile, electron has a negative charge. The charge on the proton and electron are exactly the same size, but opposite. Neutron have no charge. So the answer for this will be A. Y have more electron shells than X. Number five, a covalent molecule Q contains only six shared electrons. What is Q? From this diagram, we know that this is N H three. So the answer will be A. Ammonium. Information about four substances E F Q, E F G, and H is shown. E having the criteria of melting point 1710 that it does not conduct when solid. This is a criteria of silicon 4 oxide. F is 35. It consists of the melting point of 3500 and it conducts when solid. Conduct electricity when solid. And this is the properties of graphite. And G consists of melting point 120 Celsius and does not conduct electricity. So this is the criteria of polyethylene. And finally, H, the melting point for H is 801 and it conduct when molten. So this is the criteria for sodium chloride or properties for sodium chloride. So the answer for this would be D. Chemical compound form from a group 1 element and a group 7 element contain ionic bond. How are the ionic bond forms? Electrons are transferred from group 1 atom to group 7 atom. So the answer will be 7D. Some information about particles P, Q, R, and S is shown. So if you can see the formula for this, to get the nuclear number is a number of neutron plus number of electron. So from this table that fulfill with this criteria or formula is P and S. So the answer will be P. And number nine, chlorine gas will react with iron metal. Exactly 21.3 gram of chlorine will react with 11.2 gram of iron. How many iron atoms we add with 30 molecule of chlorine? So in this case, you get the answer of C20. In separate experiment, electricity was passed through concentrated aqua sodium chloride and molten lead to bromide. What would happen in both experiments? 
In separate experiment, electricity was passed to concentrated aquasulin chloride and molten with bromide. What happened in both experiment is a halogen would be formed at the anode. So the answer would be A, a halogen would be formed at the anode. A reaction involving aluminum is shown. XAL plus YO2 plus 6H2O to form XAL OH3, which value of X and Y balance the equation. It's actually from this question, it's one to find out what is the value of X and the value of Y in order to get the balance equation. So below is an example how to get the balance equation. This is, has been taught in one of the subject, which is I already show you how to get the balance equation. So from this, we detect that x carry the value of 4 in order to get balance in terms of the oxygen and in terms of the hydrogen. And y have to carry a value of 3 to get a value of 6. So 6 plus 6 equivalent to 12 numbers of oxygen which is on the other on the other hand on the right hand side we oxygen is already multiplied by 4 to get the value of 12 so the answer would be d 4 and 3 four different fuels are used to heat a beaker of water for the same amount of time using the apparatus shown so the initial Temperature of the water and the temperature after heating by the fuel are recorded. So which fuel releases the most heat energy? So for this question, the answer will be C, 26 and 61. An excess of calcium carbonate react with dilute hydrochloric acid. The volume of carbon dioxide produced is measured at regular time intervals. The results are shown as experiment 1. The experiment is repeated with only one charge one change to the reaction condition. So the results are shown as experiment where experiment 2 is a bit higher than experiment 1 in terms of carbon dioxide. So which change is made in the experiment 2? So we can see that the value of acid is increases. Increases when the value of acid is increases, it leads to carbon dioxide really small or uh, really small. Okay, that's why they say that the value of acid is increasing. 14. When sulfur is heated, it undergoes a physical change as it melts. So, further heating causes the sulfur to undergo a chemical change and form sulfur dioxide, which would complete gap 1 and gap 2. So, it would be C, physical and chemical. One statement about the effect of increasing temperature on the reaction are shown. So in this case, it gives the answer for 2, 3, and 4. The particle move faster. So when the temperature is increasing, and there are more collision between the reacting particle per second, and there are more collision which have energy greater than the activation energy. So it should be 2, 3, and 4. So C. An example of a redox reaction is shown Zn plus CO2 plus to form Zn2 plus plus CO. So from this, we can see that reaction between zinc metal and copper to iron. Zinc is a reducing agent. Zn means, means that zinc is a reducing agent. And a reduce CO, CO plus means that agent uh Zn is a reducing agent and it reducing Cu plus. When bismuth 3 chloride react with water, a white precipitate of bismuth oxychloride is formed. The equation for the reaction is shown. So the reaction is in equilibrium, which change causes the white precipitate to dissolve. So in this case, it says that by adding the acid or adding sodium chloride solution. 2 and 3. 1 and 3. So the answer would be B. Element X formed an oxide XO that neutralized sulfuric acid, which will describe X and XO, would be metals and passive B. 
information about the solubility of salt is shown. So it gives that chloride is a soluble except for lead to chloride and silver chloride. And in terms of the nitrite, is a soluble and sulfate is a soluble except for barium sulfate and lead to sulfate. So aqua solution of which two compound would produce a precipitate when added together. So if the answer 19 would be D. The equation shows the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen 2H2 plus 2HH plus oxygen and to produce 2HOH. So in this uh, in this question normally we got to find the energy change. So when we break up the formula 2 times H, H plus oxygen and oxygen bond and 2 times HOH, we get the value of negative. So negative is already indicate the exothermic. So the value that we get here is 482. So it indicates that the answer more or less is near to 0.85 in this table. So when it's negative value, it shows that this is the exothermic process. So the answer would be same. With that being said, I would like to wish you all the best in your study. Subscribe to John Stabila YouTube channel and follow me at John Stabila Instagram. <coughs> so my slot is available at the link page. And to access to the link, you can go to http slash John Stabila or you can retrieve the link page by your John Stabila Instagram. Please don't forget to subscribe to John Stanley's YouTube channel. Thank you very much and see you later.